Hey, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Brown 2014 edition. Um, we are just wandering through this Route 55, and we're on our way to whatever next city is the next city. <laughs> um, not much to say. Have a rock Pokemon. Thank you. Uh, this is the this is the first hiker I've actually seen in this game with a rock Pokemon. The last one had a freaking um, poison type. The one before that had some normal types, which I guess isn't that weird, but still, rock types are for hikers. That's what's been established since the first Pokemon game. Follow your stereotype, damn it. It's really important so I can use the right, right types to battle you. That's all I ask for. This is the first Onyx I'm seeing in this game, actually. So, at least a hiker has it, except for, you know, last time the first you dude I saw was a Pokemaniac hat one, which made no sense. Um, or it kind of made sense, but not really, when the hikers didn't. So there's a cave here. Oh, okay, I see some boulders. It looks like it actually is uh, Seafoam Island. Oh my god, a Psyduck. I want a Psyduck. I don't want it in my party, but I want a Psyduck. So. Oh, Psyduck also knows Bubble. That's kind of interesting. We'll do Water Gun. Uh, maybe a tackle won't kill it. I'm not sure, but I think Psyduck is psychic. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm getting really tired of these like obnoxious Pokemon that won't be captured. So. If this Pokeball doesn't, doesn't capture it, I'm going to just leave. Brewster caused me, like, at least three Pokeballs, so that was annoying. Yeah, I wonder what this cave is. In my 2004 playthrough, I never actually got that far, so... Here we have a trainer who's pretty close to our level, so... Or our mains level, anyway. I'm wondering if uh, stabs in this game... It's like basically... Uh, attacks getting extra damage based off your element, I think. It seems like it, because... Aqua Jet's uh, water gun's pretty strong. I'm gonna switch to Jax, because I have never used Jax, actually. Oh, this is bad. If he gets an attack in, before I do. Yeah, Jax isn't as impressive as Brewster. Apparently, Double Kick is just kick ass. I don't know. Literally, the attack is called kick ass because it's done so much damage every time I see it in battle. It's just crazy. But I don't get why the wild Pokemon here, the levels are really off. I mean, level 6? And I'm fighting trainers that are near level 20 right now, so it's crazy. Like, the wild Pokemon obviously are always under level, but it's usually by, like, two or five levels at most. We're seeing, like, ten to, like, you know, seven to ten levels off here. And that patch of grass where I call it Brewster and Jax, I still can't explain it. Okay, you know what this is? This might be uh, based off of... 
might be based off of, um, there's a building in Celadon City in red and blue version. For those of you who played the games, you know what I'm talking about. Where you get the diploma, basically. So there's a PC here. There's a bed, but I can't use it. Uh, there might be something here. Meeting room. The cameo here is supposed to be the developers of the game, so I'm assuming... So that's cool boy, man. Talking about prison version. That's pretty cool. What's in here? Or what's the name here? Don't go in here. Of course. Pamphlet on TMs. <laughs> so we got a Porygon, but it's not my party. I really would like to have a Porygon, but they're kind of, um, I don't know. I'll think about it. Maybe I could replace Jax with Porygon. Docks? Okay. Not that I know where that is, but... Um, should be fun. Hopefully. Okay, it looks like Cool Boy Man changed the dialogue around here, because before, everyone was kind of saying the same things that they would in, in you know, a traditional Pokemon game, and now everyone's sounding stupid. It's pretty funny, but... Just pointing it out. He must want to trade. He has a Game Boy in his hand. Okay. So that's how you get a Magmar in this game, I guess. Oh, a Metapod. It's pretty interesting. First level 11 Pokemon I've seen. Higher than 10, I'm trying to say. Crazy. Okay. Seventy. Wow. Already? So I guess this is Cerulean City, based off the song at least. I wonder if there's a gym leader here. Uh, there's the Celadon Market, I guess. Okay, so we got a town map. Um, looks like we need to cut to get past here. I'm just gonna go to the Poké Center and we'll figure things out.
I don't know why I keep on doing that. I keep forgetting I, I already read that. Can't afford anything at the market, so I'm just gonna go east here. Yeah. Still looks like there's trees that need to be cut. Looks like there's not much here but an item, which is good, but it's not what I'm looking for, obviously. Oh, I hate this type matchup. It's time to give uh, QB here a workout. I'm just trying to get Mankey to, to miss moves. Okay, just like I suspected. So it looks like Gust is now not a flying type move. It's a wind type move, and fighting types are strong against wind, which I think it'd be neutral at the very least. I don't know. It's kind of weird. That one hit me, so... Bellsprout. Um, I guess QB can go get some experience. Because it's my lowest level Pokemon, so. Just a baby of the party. Oh, finally, a 1 hit KO. So it looks like this is a dead end. I'm gonna go to the Poké Center, heal, and then find a way out of town, I guess. I didn't see a gym, so... Before I do that, though, let me see what this is. It's the Fossil Reviving Institute. That's funny. Okay, not much to say, so I will see you guys next time.